from this mark, we go down 3 fourth of an inch or 2 centimeters. Okay, from this point to this point, we can connect this with a straight line. Then from this point downwards, we will draw or square a broken straight line. So from this corner, for a medium figure, the standard uh, measurement that we will use to get the curve of the armhole is one and one fourth inches or three centimeters here. Okay, this is just a guide. We can go higher or lower this mark. As you can see, this is too high because if I uh, connect this mark to here and here, you can see that we're actually forcing. There's no roundness anymore on the armhole. So, from armhole curve to this, maybe we could just use this, this mark. And we will have a good armhole curve here, there. Because the clue here is that more or less from this mark to this mark, the armhole curve is almost a line. As you can see, if we work on this mark, we will not get an almost straight line from this mark to this mark. So the final armhole curve will be this. Although this is a straight blouse, we will get the front figure measurement. We will get the front figure measurement by laying the tip of the tape measure on the center of the shoulder line with a tape measure on a slightly diagonal line and mark the front figure measurement. The standard front figure measurement for a medium figure is, is 15 and a half inches or 39.5 centimeters. We mark this. Okay, we lay the triangle ruler this way to square this and draw a line outwards. The standard waist measurement for a medium figure is 28 inches or 71 centimeters. We will get one fourth of this measurement. We will lay the tip of the tape measure here on the center front and mark one fourth of the standard waist measurement. Now we will get the length of the blouse. The standard length for a medium figure of the blouse is 23 inches or 28.5 centimeters. I will now get the length of the blouse for a medium figure. The standard measurement of the length of the blouse for a medium figure is 23 inches or 58.5 centimeters. We lay the tip of the tape measure on the center of the shoulder line and on a slightly diagonal manner, we mark the length of the blouse. The length of the blouse may vary. It depends on how short or how long you want the blouse length to be. Okay, so now we will square this outwards. Okay, since the length of the blouse is on the lower hip level, we will get the lower hip measurement. Now, if it is somewhere here on the upper hip level, we will get the upper hip measurement. The standard lower hip measurement for a medium figure is 38 inches or 96.5 centimeters. We will get one fourth of this by folding the tape measure twice. And I will lay the tip of the tape measure on the center front line and get or mark one-fourth of the lower hip measurement. Now I will add one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters for the hemline easing of our blouse. If uh, the person's a little too rounded on the stomach, we can go or on the hip, we can actually go out from one-fourth of the hip measurement, three-fourths of an inch or two centimeters. So I will use this instead. 
going out one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Now that we have this point and this point, we can now connect this either with a straight line or with a slightly curved line using our curve ruler. So from this point to this point, I will connect the side seam line. Now on the length of the blouse or the hem of the blouse, we will have to make some kind of adjustment. From this mark, we will go down one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters or if the stomach is quite round we can go down three-fourth of an inch or two centimeters again we can connect this point to this point with the use of the curve ruler then on this side or this part the bottom lap part we can just continue the hem line with a straight line. Okay. We have actually completed the pattern of the front bodies for our straight blouse. Before cutting, we should actually remeasure this to make sure that all our measurements are correct. But then we will also be adding a hidden dart here. So after checking our measurements, we can already plot the hidden dart. So now I will be plotting the hidden dart. I will make a mark here and from this mark I will go down one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Then from this mark I will go down to form a dart this way then I will fold this I will fold this this way then I will tape the fold or the dark lines together now we will work on the facing allowance I have to pin and attach the facing allowance pattern paper together with the main bodies I will also pin the main bodies on the area of the hemline and attach this to the facing allowance. So I will cut this area first, the hemline area. Then I can cut the neckline area. Now I can cut the shoulder line. I can also start cutting the side seam line. Then the armhole. I don't think I have reshaped. We folded this so we have to reshape the armhole. As you can see it's not evenly curve. The armhole doesn't have an even curve there. So this is what I will follow, the reshaped armhole curve. So now I will be removing the pins on the neckline area and the hemline area. Now we will be working on this side. We also got the waistline so that we can mark it here on the facing allowance area. From the edge of the pattern paper, the folded pattern paper, I will go out 2 inches or 5 centimeters. So this is the waistline area. You can still mark this go out 2 inches or 5 centimeters depending on the length of the blouse we can mark it until here and then we will connect these marks with a straight line now from this corner of the neckline of the facing allowance I will go out 1 and 1 fourth inches or 3 centimeters 
Now, with the curved ruler, I will connect this point to this point using the slightly curved side of the curved ruler. Now, if you just have a, well, it's almost, the connection's almost perfect, so there's no sharp edge like this. If there is, just smoothen it out this way. Now we can cut this. This now is the facing allowance. Actually, this allowance is quite wide because I was thinking of the extra large, the double extra large. So, this we don't we don't get short on this area. But actually, uh, we can you can actually lessen the allowance for the facing. We have now completed the front bodice pattern of a straight blouse for a medium figure. 